We all know that RTX 40 series aka Ada Lovelace GPUs are going to hit the market before the end of this year. It was already rumored that Nvidia is going to launch these GPUs in the third quarter. Looks like we have confirmed dates on when we can expect these GPUs. Just two days ago, in a tweet by 3dcenter.org, we saw that Nvidia might possibly have two paths for launching RTX 40 series GPUs. Both are suggesting the launch of three Ada Lovelace GPUs with replaceable launch dates for RTX 4090 and 4080. Copite 7 Kimi confirmed that Nvidia is going to launch the RTX 4090 first, which will be followed by the RTX 4080 and then the 4070. If you remember, Nvidia launched the RTX 3090, 3080 and 3070 at the same time. But this time they are taking a gap between the launches, most likely due to two reasons. The first reason is that they want to make the availability better than what they had at the time of RTX 30 series launch. And the second reason is that most AIBs have still a lot of GPU inventory left, which will harm the sales of RTX 30 series GPUs. As per the previous rumors, the first RTX 40 series GPUs were set to launch in July. But now in a very recent post by Video Cards, it is reported that the RTX 40 series GPUs are going to launch a few weeks later, mostly due to the reasons I stated. Here the RTX 4090 is scheduled to launch in August, followed by RTX 4080 in September and the 4070 in October. Video Card states that these dates are 100% confirmed and therefore we are most likely to see them hit the market very soon. Here a few more things have been confirmed. The first is that both the RTX 4090 and 4080 are going to use different GPU. The 4090 is to be based on AD102 and the RTX 4080 will be using AD103 chip. However, both are going to use the same board named as PG139 with different SKUs. While we already have some decent info on the RTX 4090 specs, there are still speculations going on with regards to the RTX 4080 and 4070. So everything we are currently hearing about their specs are just rumors with no solid evidence. As for the availability, I think we can expect them to be in good quantity, unlike the RTX 30 series GPUs. Greymon, who is a very prominent leaker on Twitter, says that we can fully expect both the Ada Lovelace and RDNA 3 GPUs to be sold at MSRP. This means we are most likely not going to see the historic shortage again, particularly at a time when the RTX 30 and RX 6000 series GPUs are almost at the MSRP. According to the new report published by 3dcenter.org, AMD RDNA 2 GPUs are just 2% above their MSRP, while Nvidia's RTX 30 series is at 6% higher. According to the report, both AMD and Nvidia have some GPUs selling below the MSRP and some above it. And just as I said before, AIBs have a good amount of stock of these GPUs, so it is less likely that we are going to see any shortage of next-gen GPUs. At the same time, we are hearing reports that is indicating the launch of Intel Arc GPUs very soon. Intel had this link on their site that stated Intel Arc A3 for desktop, but was soon removed. Many are speculating that this can mean Intel Arc GPU's launch is near. But I don't think this is sufficient enough evidence to prove so because Intel has been putting and removing these texts on their site for a while now, delaying the GPUs again and again. So what do you think is going to happen with Intel Arc launch? Is Intel really going to launch Arc GPUs in the early third quarter or do you think they are going to be late enough to have their GPUs dead on arrival? Let me know in the comments below and also watch this video right here about the Ryzen 7000 CPUs which are hitting 5.5 GHz clock speed without any overclocking. And as always, I will see you in the next video.